The mandible and maxilla templates prepared as described in the processing instructions are checked to ensure they fit properly. The support pin of the maxillary plate is adjusted until there is no contact between the upper and lower rows of teeth during the movements. While sitting in the upright position, the patient is instructed to move his mandible back and forth as far as possible while touching pin and registration plate. This procedure is repeated two to three times. The patient is then asked to move his mandible to the left and then back to the center again. The patient performs the same movement on the right side two to three times. This exercise is to prepare the patient for the actual bite registration procedure. The mandibular registration plate is generously blacked with the marker provided. After putting the templates in the patient's mouth and following the dentist's instructions, the patient traces the angle by laterally moving the anterior and posterior mandible. Crosshair symbol drawn on the tip of the arrow, centric. To check the Gothic arch, the entire plate, except for the crosshairs, is blacked again, and the entire bite registration procedure is repeated. If the second Gothic arch is also positioned exactly on the crosshairs, the plexiglass roundel can be drilled in the position of the tip of the arrow and fixed into place using adhesive wax. The opening and closing movements make it possible to check in the mouth and see whether the tip of the arrow snaps into the hole of the plexiglass roundel. If this is the case, the position is cemented using registration silicone or impression plaster.